We're going to talk about inches and feet in this video. This is 8.2. A ruler is 12 inches long. And 12 inches equals 1 foot. And we can use a ruler to measure an object in inches or feet. So this is a ruler. And we can see across the top here, the number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we can put it up next to things and we can measure it. See? This is 1 inch long. See? And it lines up with the 1 on the ruler. See that? It's 1. This is 1 foot long. That's 12 inches. That's the length of the ruler. See? That's how long a ruler is, see? It's 12 inches. 12 inches equals 1 foot. We can write an IN period or an FT period for inches and feet. Those are abbreviations. It's a short way of writing it. So just remember, if you see the IN period, it's a short way of saying inches. And if you see the FT period, it's just a short way of saying a foot or feet. All right? depending on how many we have. So, keeping in mind that that's 1 inch and that's 1 foot or 12 inches, we're going to estimate about how long this pencil is and then we're going to actually measure to see how many inches it is. So, if this is 1 inch and that's 12 inches, 1 foot, how long do you think this pencil is? How many inches do you think it is? If you used your eyes and you compared it to that 12 inch foot, do you have a guess for about how many inches you think that pencil is? If that's 12, you think that might be about mm, maybe 8 or 9? So let's guess about 8, all right? Because it's not as big as the 12. It's a little bit smaller, right? Now, let's measure it. Look at that. It is about 8. See how it stops at the 8 right here? At the end? And it's not exact. That's why we're using the word about. We're just estimating. Okay? So it is about 8. So that was a good guess on my part, huh? Now look at this. How long do you think this is right here? This side of the rectangle. How long do you think that is? How many inches? So if that is one inch, how many inches do you think that is? Do you think it's about maybe two inches? Three inches? What do you think it is? I'm going to guess it's about two inches. You may have guessed differently. Now we're going to take the ruler and we're going to actually measure it and put the amount there, okay? Oh, look, I should have said three. See how the end of the rectangle ends at three? So it is about three inches. See? It went one, two, three inches. So I didn't get that one right, but I was close, all right? Now, we can measure something with a ruler like this by just placing it next to what we're measuring. We can measure this green line. See? And if I put the ruler up next to it and I line it up on this side right at the end there and then I look at where it ends and what number it ends on, that's a 5. So this green line is 5 inches. Now look at the pink line. Oh, that pink line is longer than my ruler. And how can I measure it with this ruler if it's longer than my ruler? Well, what we can do is we can put the ruler right here and we can mark where the ruler ended. So that was 12 inches. Then we can take the end of the ruler and put it right here and measure it again. See? It was two rulers. It was 12 and 12. So even though this line was longer than my ruler, all I had to do 
was put my ruler, put a mark, and then put my ruler again to measure. See? So that line is two feet long because each ruler is 12 inches. That's one foot. So that's five inches, and that's one foot, and that's one foot. The whole line is two feet. See? Let's see how good we are at estimating here. About how many inches or feet is a refrigerator tall? Do you think it's about six inches tall or about six feet tall? When you think of the refrigerator in your kitchen, well, six inches, that's an inch. Is your refrigerator six of these? No. So it's about six feet tall, isn't it? What about a fork that you eat dinner with? Is it about eight inches long or about eight feet long? Let's look at our measurements again. Is it about eight inches or eight feet for a fork? Well, an eight foot long fork would be a very long fork, wouldn't it? We wouldn't even be able to pick it up. So if you said eight inches, you're right. What about a cell phone? Do you think a cell phone is about five inches long or about five feet long? Is it about five inches long or about five feet long? Five of these or five of these? Now, if you said five inches, you're right. Okay? It wouldn't be like five rulers, would it? So five inches is about how long a cell phone is. Okay? Let's do some problem solving. Emma has a 12-inch long ribbon. She cut off four inches. How long is the ribbon now? So we think the ribbon is 12 inches long. She cuts off four inches. And cut off means to remove, doesn't it? And that's a clue word for subtraction. We do 12 inches minus the four inches she cut off, and we get eight inches left. All right? So we look for clue words, right? And you can circle the important ones. It was 12 inches. She cut off four inches. Okay? So I have a cute little funny thing I use for third graders, and I'm going to show it to you. Look at this. It says, if my nose was 12 inches long, it would be a foot. Do you get it? Because 12 inches is a foot. Isn't that silly? All right. So that's inches and feet. And we're going to continue talking about measurements. We're going to talk about yards next. Did you know a yard is three feet? And that's what we're going to talk about. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.